Hi, this is Gunslinger. I'm going to show you how to make a Botania Mana Battery. This is, of course, the Elfin Gate, which will need mana. We're going to supply mana for that to keep it open all the time. Next, I'm just going to do some decorating here. Not exactly necessary, but uh, make it look a little better. As you can see, I've set up a couple of spots to put um, the flowers that we're going to be using, the thermal lilies. And uh, here we go, we're going to put some of those in there in a second. There's actually going to be two cells for the battery. Putting in the mana spreaders down there. We're going to need those in a minute. And the mana pools. So you'll have four mana pools. Right here I'm putting in the pylons. They're the wrong pylons. I will correct that later in the video, however. And put in the mana spreaders. These are the Gia mana spreaders. You, or you may not have those, but uh, any of them will do. Or the Gaia mana spreaders, I guess it's called. Put the one over here. Just link it to the mana distributor. Now we're going to put it, the flowers in. You're going to put 24 flowers on each side. They're the uh, floating thermal lilies. And I'm just checking here to make sure that they are linked to the spreader. They should automatically link. If they don't link, they won't spread the mana to the mana spreader. Let's put in the rest of them here. Then we'll uh, do the other side here real quick. There you go. And then we're going to put a uh, <laughs> floodgate. <laughs> I what it was for a second. And uh, on both sides here, that's from Open Blocks. Uh, you don't have Open Blocks, probably not going to be able to do this, at least not the way I've done it. Uh, then we're going to put a uh, fluid uh, conduit in there from uh, Ender IO and then we're going to put a drum of lava on top and we're going to open it up so it comes down and it'll go down there in the hole that we created throughout the uh, thermal lilies and you can hear right now the lava is going in there and uh, you saw it right there. It's being soaked up by the flowers. And you can already tell, if you look in here, that there's already mana going in the pools, being spread by the mana spreader. So uh, in order to upgrade it, you don't have to upgrade it this way if you want to, but you're going to run out of uh, lava. And I'm going to use some Thomcraft and I'm going to create, um, you need a node with uh, Ignis on it and uh, then you're going to next you're going to turn it into an energized node like that do the side and in a couple of seconds they will turn into energized nodes and then we can use that to power our ever-burning urn also from um, Thumbcraft. And it's a little hard to get, a little mid-game, end-game but um, you have to do the research to, to find that recipe and we'll 
just add the conduit so that it will resupply the barrel or the drum of uh, lava. There we go. All right. Get rid of these little extraneous connections. And uh, the Everburn urns are providing more lava, as you can see. And now it is completely self sustaining. And it will continue to fill up the mana pools. There we go. Make sure that it's actually going in there. And I'm going to change out the pylons and open up the gate. There we go. Change out the pylons. Open the gate. And you will have mana forever. Thanks for watching.